April 12th, Moral Dominion. Death hath no more dominion over him, in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead, indeed unto sin, but alive unto God. Romans 6, 9-11 through Co-eternal life. Eternal life was the life which Jesus Christ exhibited on the human plane, and it is the same life, not a copy of it, which is manifested in our mortal flesh when we are born of God. Eternal life is not a gift from God. Eternal life is the gift of God. The energy and the power which was manifested in Jesus will be manifested in us by the sheer sovereign grace of God when once we have made the moral decision about sin. Ye shall receive the power of the Holy Ghost. Not power as a gift from the Holy Ghost. The power is the Holy Ghost, not something which he imparts. The life that was in Jesus is made ours by means of his cross when once we make the difficult decision to be identified with him. If it is difficult to get right with God, it is because we will not decide definitely about sin. Immediately we do decide, the full life of God comes in. Jesus came to give us endless supplies of life, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Eternal life has nothing to do with time. It is the life which Jesus lived when he was down here. The only source of life is the Lord Jesus Christ, the weakest saint can experience the power of the deity of the Son of God if once he is willing to let go. Any strand of our own energy will blur the life of Jesus. We have to keep letting go, and slowly and surely, the great full life of God will invade us in every part, and men will take knowledge of us that we have been with Jesus.